This is Monte Castillo in Cantabria. It is home to UNESCO World Heritage Site of Prehistoric Cave Art in Northern Spain. This is Section C of La Pasiega Cave. Our international team of researchers found that paintings in La Pasiega are at least 64,000 years old and therefore must have been made by Neanderthals. There are many symbolic red paintings on the wall, like lines or dots. There are also animal paintings or geometric figures. Please note the white dots you can see everywhere on the cave wall and sometimes also on the paintings. The white dots are calcite. It precipitates from water that comes through tiny fissures in the cave wall. We carefully inspect such calcite formations, whether they indeed formed on top of paintings like here on a red line. If so, we use a scalpel to remove dust from the surface and check consistency of the calcite. We then scrape calcite directly into a pre-cleaned tube. Of course, we need good lights, magnifying lenses and steady hands for this job. We frequently check the surface of the calcite with a microscope to make sure that we do not touch the art itself. We stop sampling before all calcite is removed to ensure integrity of the art. We finally have samples of calcite which formed on top of cave art. If we can find out how long ago this calcite formed, we have a minimum age for the art. To determine the age of the calcite, we bring the samples to a laboratory like we have here at the Max Planck Institute in Leipzig. Here we can analyze the calcite for traces of uranium in it and also its decay product thorium. The amount of uranium and thorium in the samples is so small, we need an extremely clean laboratory to prepare the samples and measure them with a mass spectrometer. The samples are also very small, usually a size smaller than a grain of rice. Here we dissolve the sample with acid and then use specific resins to separate uranium and thorium from all the other elements in the solution. After about two to three days of laboratory work, we have finally pure solutions with only uranium or thorium in them, which we can then measure with a mass spectrometer. Using an array of external equipment, the sample is vaporized and injected into this so-called plasma. We measure uranium and thorium isotopes in our solutions. All thorium we find today in the sample is a result of radioactive decay of uranium. We measure how much uranium and thorium there is and we know the radioactive decay constants. With this we can calculate how much time was needed to get this much thorium. And this is the age of the calcite. And the art under the calcite is older. This way we found that the left red vertical line of this painting is older than 64,000 years.